Hey friends, welcome back to the channel with more Ruby. This is volume 4, chapter 4, Family. So yeah, let's check it out. Uh, let me turn on the CC, read the lyrics. Happy ending. With no big reveal of the hero's glory. She said she was headed home, right? So that could be her sister, maybe. You guys think it's about time for Weiss to revolt yet? Alright. Who is this kid? A humble farmer. Creepy. Hello, I'm Professor Osborne. Osborne. He's alive. But where? Oscar? Yang's having nightmares. PTSD. She's about to lose her arm again in her dream. Little dragon? I'm good. So, so what are you doing here? Despite popular belief, teachers do have a life outside the classroom. Professor Goodwitch is working round the clock to restore Beacon to its former glory. But Mistral wasn't built in a day. And we all need some rest from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> Look, let's not worry about that right now. 
So, there we were, standing in the auditorium, <laughs> looking at Crow wearing a skirt. <laughs> then Oz tells everyone it's time to work on our landing strategy. The Broadway Tunnel Interesting to say the least. That sure didn't seem to stop young Ty. <laughs> hey, come on, man. She's right here. Oh, please. She's a mature young woman. If she can handle combat, she can handle a few jabs at her old man. <laughs> That's not the issue, Pete. And besides, she's still a teenager. She is also in the room and can be directly spoken to. And I think I've been through enough to be considered an adult at this point. Adult or not, you still got a long way to go before you're ready for the real world. Oh my gosh, does every father figure just have the same three condescending phrases? <laughs> yeah, but we only use them when we mean it. Is that so? As a matter of fact, it is so. If you honestly think that you're ready to go out there on your own, <laughs> well, I guess you lost some brain cells along with that arm. Whoa. You jerk! <laughs> okay, they're laughing. The Goliath. In the room. The, Goliath. <laughs> the elephant. The Goliath. <sighs> Yes, a piece of Atlas technology being given out like that is rare indeed. Not to mention the effort it took to deliver it here. It seems a great many people want to see you return to normal. <laughs> I'm scared. Everyone keeps talking about me getting back to normal, and I appreciate it, but this is normal now. Hmm. It's just taking me a while to get used to it. Well, normal is what you make of it. What is that supposed to mean? Do you want me to just pretend like nothing happened? I lost a part of me. A piece of me is gone. And it's never coming back. You're right. It's not coming back. But that doesn't have to stop you from becoming who you want to be. Your Yang Shao Long. My sunny little dragon. Hmm. You can do whatever you long. put your mind to. So whenever you're ready to stop moping and get back out there, I'll be there for you. Moping. I... Fear is like any other emotion. It comes and goes. It's all in how you handle it. Why, even I find myself wrestling with that emotion from time to time. Even you. Really? You. He's <laughs> afraid of mice. They bring only disease and famine. <laughs> and don't even get me started on their tails. <laughs> There's no mystery right now. <laughs> Night. Uh, that's the first time I've seen her smile and laugh. It may be a while before we return. There is still much work to be done at the school. I hesitate to ask, but is there any word from young Miss Rose? Not yet. Have you thought about going after her? Trying to bring her home? He wants to be here for Yang. <sighs> I've got to look after some things. And she knows she's holding him back. Come on, guys! If we pick up the pace, we can hit the next town before sunset. Assuming it's still there. Of course it'll be there! This one's supposed to be pretty big. He can? Egon Bana. It's a well protected <laughs> village with a popular inn. Which means no camping in the rain. See? Everything's gonna be fine. 
you know, we've had a lot of ups and downs, but things could be a lot worse. I really thought we'd see more grim. Are you panning to a gigantic grim? Here it comes. Bro. He's taking care of the Grim on. Is that another human crow? Why is he doing this? Why not get some combat experience or something? <laughs> Luck. Luck. Uh. It's also strange that they haven't caught on to him. Is he just that good at hiding his presence? Or are no, none of them aware of being followed at all? Oh, look to your left! Guys, your left! Oh, I didn't. From the woman upstairs. Red eyes. Said you wouldn't mind bottom shelf. Red eyes. Bottom shelf. Thanks. But I went ahead and gave you top. Lucky you. Uh huh. Lucky crow. Yeah. They're in for the night. Have some fun with these. Two women who seem... Actually, I don't... I think... I doubt the first one. Yep, it's... Hello, brother. Brother. Raven. This is the one who met with Yang last time, right? Honestly, I can't tell. So, oh. what do you want? A girl can't just catch up with her family. She can, but you're not. So how about we get on with it? I thought it was a pile of clothes. On keeping these coming. It's a helmet. The white fang helmet? Does she have it? Did you know Yang lost her arm? That's not... Rhetorical question. I know you know. It's just obnoxious that you'd bring up family and then carry on like your own daughter doesn't exist. I saved her. Once. Because that was your rule, right? Real mom of the year material, sis. I told you Beacon would fall, and it did. I told you Ozpin would fail, and he has. Now you tell me. Does... Salem have it. Salem? I thought you weren't interested in all of that. I just want to know what we are up against. And which we are you referring to? Right, I was just wondering. <sighs> you should come back, Raven. Oh. The only way we beat her is by working together. All of us. You're the one who left. The tribe raised us, and you turned your back on them. They were killers and thieves. They were your family. You have a very they were killer and thieves. That word. I lead our people now. And as leader, I will do everything in my power to ensure our survival. I saw. The people of Shion saw too. The weak die, the strong oh. live. Those Jeez. Are the well, you've certainly got someone strong on your side. I've seen the damage. We couldn't have known the Grim would set in as quickly as they did. I'm not talking about the Grim. And I'm not talking about you either. If you don't know where the relic is, then we have nothing left to talk about. I don't know where the Spring Maiden is, either. But if you do, I need you to tell me. And why would I do that? Because without her, we're all going to die. And which 
We uh. are you referring to? What the heck? Make this one a double. <laughs> oh. Is there a tribe entirely made of people who can turn into birds? She's wearing her arms, isn't she? How's it feel? Okay. Let's get started. Get started. Oh, wait, that's the entire episode? 15 minutes? That went by so quickly. Oh, wow. I, I, I really want to binge this. But I got all the work to do. So this was a Yang-centered... Oscar? And Ozpin talked to him in the mirror? Why him? Why this kid? And just as he was about to like, eh, it was probably nothing. I just probably imagined it. Ozpin was like, hello! <laughs> uh, huh. What's Ozpin's semblance, though, that allows him to... And is he dead? Is he like a force ghost from Star Wars or something? I don't know. Cinder says he's dead, but she paused very, very, for a very, very long time when asked if she killed Ozpin. Uh, Yang having nightmares, PTSD. It's not going to be over just yet. Uh, this is a very nice moment, though. Uh, walking in on Tai Xiaolong's friends and her teachers, just yucking it up, talking about Crow wearing a skirt, telling him it was a kilt, and then the launch training, which means he would have been on display. <laughs> uh, it's nice seeing her smile, seeing her laugh, and uh, yeah, his her father seemingly went too far, but I guess. They're the kind of family that can joke like that. <sighs> yeah, she's got a... Even though she put on the arm just now, I don't... It's not over. The PTSD is not over. It doesn't go away just because you make a small breakthrough. Uh, she put it on, it seems like, to... Start moving forward so that her father doesn't have to constantly look after her. And... I, w I, I think I misspoke when I said she realizes that she's holding him back because that's what a father does. A father looks after his children, but um, she wants to be able to be self-sufficient again because she does... Ruby is her little sister, and I'm sure she doesn't want people to be paying attention, as much attention to her if she can get up on her own uh, and start moving forward again. In case her sister needs help again as well. Uh, that was a tense moment there. But... I don't know. I don't know how long it'll be until she's fully back to out in the field. Um, but even then, I don't think it'll be over just yet. Uh, who knows? It, it, might not, it might take Adam being killed or locked up for her to be fully okay, and even then, maybe not. Um, I don't know if any of you have watched Legend of Korra Season 4. Um, sometimes you think you're over it, and sometimes you're not. So, it'll be a very fascinating journey watching her go through this. And uh, I think they handled it pretty well, uh, talking about normalcy and... Uh, what's expected of her, I guess. But uh, it was very nice to see her smile and laugh for the first time this season, uh, this volume. <sighs> I guess she f doesn't want to feel like a burden, even if that's not the case. And Crow taking care of Ruby and her friends, Team Juno, no? Junior. Ranger. Ranger. Team Ranger. Um, so he's killing bunches of Grimm. I don't know 
so that they can hurry up their search, hurry up their journey? Why exactly? Why not? I don't know. So that, is that Raven? He's just taking out Grim. I don't know. I mean, they can, the Team Ranger can take care of themselves. But I'm wondering why he's... I don't know. Uh, interesting conversation between him and his sister, Raven, whose name is Raven. Um, did I say that? I think I just said that twice. Her, his sister, Raven. Um, and she's the head of her tribe, their tribe. He abandoned them, apparently. This I thought this was like a mound of rags, but it looks very similar to... I mean, it's the same color scheme as Adam's helmet. Um, but I don't know. Is she part of that group? I mean, Adam is a Faunus, right? Even though I don't think we've seen any Faunus, like, uh, we haven't seen any ears or tail or anything. And, I mean, she can turn to an animal, so I guess that counts. But then Yang is her daughter and doesn't have any animal traits. Interesting. So yeah, interesting. She has... Her tribe can turn into animals, it seems like. It seems like, because we've seen Crow do it. But I don't, I'm guessing we saw Raven do it and turn into that Raven we just saw earlier. But then Yang doesn't have that power. Does it need to be like kept in the bloodline? Is that why they're so intent on taking care of themselves and things like that? And why was she with Tai Xiaolong in the first place? Um, what made her leave and be with him, have a child with him, and then go back? Um, also, yeah, Yang Xiaolong, Yang Xiao, Yang, Tai Yang is, Tai Yang is sun, so Yang Xiaolong is sunny little dragon, so that's, that's, that's cute. Uh, I didn't know her last name was Xiaolong, I don't think, so, and then Ruby's just Ruby, <laughs> it's an English word, it's interesting. Um, but yeah, interesting, Tai, Tai I guess is Tai. I don't know what Tai means, but it also... I'm guessing his name is also Xiaolong. Last name is Xiaolong. Uh, tai, Xiaolong, Tai. I don't know what that means. It could have multiple meanings, I guess. Anyway. Because <sighs> Yang... Like, a lot of Chinese words are... Hom I think the word is homonyms. Because uh, Yang in Yang Xiaolong also, could also mean sheep. Yang is also sheep. Um, but yeah, it means sunny in this case, I guess. Uh, she can create a portal, apparently. Is that her semblance? Is that another one of her tribe's abilities? Uh, we haven't seen Crow use anything like it. Definitely not the mother of the year, though. Her hairstyle is actually very similar, I just realized. Two Yangs is a little bit more poofy at the back, but uh, pretty similar hairstyle is just black instead of blonde. Oh, poor woman. Uh. Have a fun night with uh, Crow. She was flirting with him. And yeah, it seems like she's ready, maybe, to start pushing forward. Not sure how long. It's spring, I guess, so Ruby left in winter, I believe, and her arm caught off in the fall, so it's been about half a year. All right. We'll see what happens next. I feel like we saw... I feel like we haven't seen too much of Weston Blake this volume uh even though we've i think we've had a chapter on each but looking forward to for more all right thanks for watching one week ahead on patreon in the, link in the description below i'll see you guys next time menagerie all right my friends